Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said laid back and uh, enjoy the show all right so that is to be virgo sun virgo moon and as well a virgo rising a uh, weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week and just bear with me a couple of seconds guys and uh, to shuffle the cards of course and uh, the first thing that we're going to check out is going to be your love <clears throat> your love and relationship right so uh the first card that we do have in terms of love and relationship uh, that is to be the eight of uh, pentacles uh, followed by the seven of pentacles into the second position of this spread third one is reserved for the devil card for what it seems and then the last one that we do have the uh, eight of wands um so this uh, this particular reading mainly affects those that are single and that's why i'm going to talk for them a little bit more than those that are already in a relationship but pretty much uh, the uh, reading itself it does point that you need to uh, make use or rather like a take advantage of the law of attraction or for what it see uh, it's just for what it seems from the reading itself as we do have seven of pentacles into the second position of this spread that means that inactivity is not going to bring any dividends to you and that being said if you are waiting somebody to hit on you that ain't gonna happen in the upcoming week i mean you are have to be the one that initiates the thing if you are completely looking for a, a love and you don't you don't have any interactions whatsoever for such kind of a uh, situations situation i'm sorry i am talking about okay so that being said it is a time for the upcoming week to actually step into the world and uh, just announce or rather like make a notice if you will uh, that you are ready to kind of like start interacting once again share your love with somebody else or be open to receive such um <clears throat> on your behalf uh the devil there into the third position of the spread itself it is just amplifies like i said the law of attraction and it's important that you will have the benefit of making your own initiation because the devil just points that you are to be able for the upcoming week to create the circumstances exactly the way you want them to be so if you are planning a romantic date a romantic date this is what you're gonna have okay if you are planning a kind of like an ultimatum that you are to pass an ultimatum is what you're going to have so pretty much the devil gives you the power to play by your own rules in regards to forging a relationships or finding love if you will and the uh, week itself at the end with the eight of wands are uh, pretty much points that you are to sit in a a, a place or rather like a spot or uh, in a standpoint uh, where you can pretty much choose how to proceed from there so pretty much in terms of a relationship for you Virgo I would say that the upcoming week it is a week where you are to forge your own faith okay and that's why sitting at your couch um, all day long no faith in terms of a uh, love and romance is to be forged so you gotta get yourself off it and do what you can in order to find it for love is all around you it's just you have to open your eyes for it 
and make your own circumstances as well. Now, those that are in a relationship or they do have a marriage, um, pretty much they do have a partner. Those cards here are pointing that uh, the week itself is going to be very favorable for you to start doing a uh, a thing kind of like a plan you had okay it could be a plan for a holiday plan for a buying a house buying a uh, um, a, a car or for example um, conceiving a child you know whatever plan you do have with your partner that you have planned for quite a while now this week uh, it will be in a very you are to be the relationship itself you have is going to be in a very favorable uh, place in order to start initiating the plans the plan, I'm sorry, for reason being is that you have undertook and kind of like resolved or found a strategy for every single detail that was in there. Uh, one thing I want to give you a guidance of, it is that the, the plan or rather like the execution moving on from now needs to be done with a, a big conscientiousness. So that was in terms of your love and uh, relationship. Now let's have a look. Uh, what you are to experience in terms of uh, career and work. Right, so uh, first one, wow, we do have a very promising start here for you, Virgo. We do have the three, the tree, three, three of pentacles, followed by the high priestess moving next. We do have the seven of pentacles. That is a little bit of a, um, an, an opposition here, a contradictory. Uh, and then at the end, wow, ten of pentacles. So we are talking about a stability and definitely uh, kind of like a progress through consistency rather than an explosive uh, uh, progress of a catching the momentum but the bottom line here of those cards it is that throughout the week you are to either receive slowly progressingly or all of a sudden a, a support that you need which will allow you to grow into your development whatever your development is you may are trying to develop a business or develop a project or develop yourself in generally into the place that you are working at. Whatever that's, uh, whatever the case of your development is, you are to receive the necessary support. It may not be the support you want, but it will be the necessary support you need in order to make a significant progress moving forward. Now, that being said, you can expect that throughout the week, um, you are going to be hardly left alone to do your things. Uh, most of the time you are going to be always cooperating with somebody. Uh, the cooperation doesn't necessarily has to be physical. It could be through a, a meaningful conversations, guidance, uh, and etc. etc. Now, why did I say that there is a contradictory here? Well, that is because we do have two opposites or two similar cards sitting on an opposite positions. That will be the High Priestess and the Seven of Pentacles. And um, the thing with that is, is that uh, for what it seems, I don't know how to explain it. Probably I will try to explain it that way, that there is a better way uh, of progressing forward with your work or with your business than the way you previously taught. Although that's also not an exact explanation, but I, ca I can't explain it. Um, other way around, I'm sorry, just English is not my native, so probably I lack the, the vocabulary for it. But in any case, um, those two cards are pointing that as said that you are going to have a support it is important to oblige, or it's not to oblige, probably, yeah, uh, to comply, I'm sorry, to comply and to listen what those people that are supporting you are telling you, for they are to be more experienced than you are. So, obviously, Virgo, which are um, with a pretty boosted ego, or pretty big ego, are going to have a rough time throughout the week listening to foreign people advices or other people's advices 
uh, and guidance as well, uh, let alone to uh, undertake the, uh, the advice itself. But ultimately, at the end, where we do end, it is with the Ten of Pentacles, and that is where your Ten of Pentacles in term of career is where you're finding yourself in a cozy place or in a cozy position that you you are to feel that whatever you have undertook throughout the, the week itself or whatever you have invested in, and as an investment, I don't mean only money, it could be as well time, efforts, you know, etc., etc., uh, you are going to feel that it was worth it. Um, at the very least, you are going to feel less dependent of um, of the daily routine, if you will. That could be because uh, you know you are going to you may feel yourself more secure at your job and therefore less dependent of needing to lick ace all the way. If if there are people doing it, you know, exit and those kind of a. Uh, uh, that was kind of feeling. It is that pretty much you're going to feel that, you know, your job is sound and safe for now. And that is just a feeling. Uh, the card says that it will be that way by the end of the week. But again, next week, things may change. And uh, pretty much that's all that there is to it for those that are uh, currently working. Those that aren't working and are looking for a job, uh, the guidance of the cards are to try finding a job through someone you know. Uh, and um, by the way that the cards are structured, you are to be surprised that you are the, the least person you have expected may be the one who is going to find you a job. So that being said, guys, uh, this was your A Weekly General Tarot Reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around. Um, until then, just let me give, give me a second to uh, gain control of my camera. So until then, bye.